Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make some uh, napkin decoupage coasters. Uh, we're actually gonna be making some Christmas coasters, and then we're also gonna be sharing uh, like some great gift ideas for making these coasters. This is such a simple and easy project. I am always out looking for um, cocktail napkins and that sort of thing. So I have quite a collection of them just, you know, to have on hand for special occasions. And so uh, this is gonna be an easy project. If you're like myself and you love budget-friendly DIY projects and home decor, then you're in the right place and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, here are some of the things that you will want to have on hand. I went ahead and picked up some coaster tiles uh, because it's just so much easier just to go ahead and get some that are already prepped for making coasters. So uh, these were really uh, relatively inexpensive, so that was one thing. Uh, then you also wanna get you some Mod Podge um, to put on the, um, the napkin decoupage. This is what the tiles look like. They're really uh, easy to use, and they also come with the um, cork backing so that you can, once you have them finished, you just stick your cork backing on there and then you have your coaster. Um, you also need to decide on some cute napkins that you would like to use and there's just millions of options. Uh, like I said, today I'm gonna be working on some holiday ones and these are just some cute ones I picked up uh, that I thought would be make a fun coaster. Um, this is another option I have. And then I'm also uh, possibly gonna do some gifts uh, with some coastal themes to them. So uh, these are just all different ones that you can use. Uh, you also want to have um, some matte sealer. Um, this will actually help to make your uh, coasters waterproof um, because if you're actually using them as coasters, you definitely want them to be waterproof. So uh, we'll be going through that. I'm also gonna be using some tape some scissors, and an ink pen. And the reason for all of this is to help me get these coast, um, napkins ready for the coaster. One of the first things that I recommend um, is that you go ahead and trace off your tile onto your napkin before you separate the napkin layers. Um, this will be helpful um, in order to prevent um, tearing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my coaster, let me just turn this around so you can see a little bit better. Lay the coaster, uh, this is the upside of my um, napkin here, and I'm gonna lay the coaster so that I make sure that I get the key elements because the napkin is a little bit larger than the actual tile. So we're gonna get that on there. And what I'm gonna do then is trace around this so that I can cut this out. So you just wanna trace around your napkin and, and then, see this napkin is nice because it'll give me two coasters out of one napkin. Then you wanna go ahead and cut this to fit. This is gonna be a nice one and easy to work with because of the white background. Uh, if you're working with color, like something like this, you're gonna have to be more careful about how you cut and make sure that you get your, your lines straight. But this one is gonna be very forgiving because it's, it's a pure white background. Then once you get all of this cut out, then you're gonna be ready to separate your napkin. The napkins are three-ply and you want to be sure that you get okay, only one ply the size of our tile. So we're, we're going to be able just to apply it on there. But the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get the uh, layer separated. There's a th it's three ply, so you want to place the tape on the back side and then pull away from your napkin. And we got lucky because both ply, the two back plies came off really, really easily. Sometimes you'll pull one and have to do the second one separately, but you just wanna do that gently. 
Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and apply the Mod Podge to the tile. And you wanna go just barely around the edges of it in case your napkin overlaps a little bit. And what I like to do is just get a good coverage, but not too much. So what we're gonna do is after we get it completely covered, I'm just gonna go back over it and remove any excess. We just want a thin coat. If it's too thick, it tends to make it wanna bubble more. Okay, so we have it on there now. We've got it completely covered and we're ready to add our napkin. And what you wanna do here is just make sure to get it placed as evenly as possible before you ever touch it down. And then just gradually pat it out. You wanna be real careful again because this will tear easily. If that should happen, all you have to do is um, pull the napkin off. You can go to the sink and just wash all the Mod Podge and everything away and just start all over. Hopefully you've got another napkin that you can replace it with. Then I like to go back over it just a little bit with a real light amount, just be gentle, but just go over the top of it to smooth out as many of the bubbles and everything as you can. You don't need to worry about getting it perfect just as long as you've got it semi-pressed out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's slight little creases and bubbles in it, but it's not anything to be worried about. Okay, so now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna let it dry for at least 30 minutes and then you'll be ready to apply your second coat of Mod Podge to your, um, your Okay, your we've coat. allowed our uh, napkin to get completely dry with the, with the uh, Mod Podge. Uh, so it is ready for a second coat. So we're gonna go ahead and, and add that and we can be more generous this time since we've already got our first coat on. Still going around the edges just a little bit. You do not want the napkin to, you know, to accidentally start peeling away from the corner. So you wanna be sure that you've got it sealed real good. And again, you may notice as you're putting this on that it, it starts to kind of feel like it's getting a little bubbly again. I just kind of try to press that out as much as possible and keep applying the Mod Podge and, and, and removing as much of it as possible. So it's not like just soaked in it. It's much better to go ahead and do a light coat and, and get it as smooth as possible and then come back in and add a third coat. Okay, so we're ready to let this one set and, and, and um, dry. Next, seal your coasters with a clear waterproof matte sealer to protect them. Now that we have all of our coasters sealed and, and protected so that they're waterproof, we're ready to finish them up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these um, cork tiles on the back of it. These are, you just want to line it up and make sure you get it as even as possible on the back side. And then, ta-da, you've got everything ready now here. You just want to press our uh, corks on the back of them. One thing we do want to do is we want to be sure that we're not um, subjecting these to water for at least seven days. So they need to have a little bit of uh, cure time uh, so that the um, the sealer is completely cured out. But then you can go ahead and wrap them up and get them ready for gift giving or uh, put them out for your holiday decorating. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to make um, napkin decoupage coasters for the holidays, for gift giving. These would make such great gifts, wonderful hostess gifts, and they're just, you can make them for almost nothing. They're very inexpensive and it's a quick and easy project. In fact, I'm really surprised that it's taken me this long to start making them. Uh, and now I'm a little bit addicted, so I'm gonna be looking at all of the different cute little um, cocktail napkins and trying to come up with different ideas for um, making some more of these in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed this and y'all have a great day. Talk to you later.